Good afternoon, my lovely students. Today we're going to teach a new story. The title of our story is Little Flap Learns to Fly. The genre of the story is fantasy story. What's the meaning of fantasy story? The fantasy story, I mean, the story, it has imaginary characters and events. It can, it can happen in the real life. Okay, so it doesn't exist or it can't be exist in the real life. The essential question, how do friends depend on each other? We're going to read how little Fiat depends on his friends. What's the meaning of depends? When you depend on someone, you need his help or you count on him. So friends need each other. So look at here, how do friends depend on each other? I think these friends went to a trip or they went to a hike. So they're using the map to find a location. So they help each other to find a location in a map. So look at here. A friend can help you learn how to do something new. Maybe this girl is helping her friend use the computer. Maybe he needs to know how to get in the platform or how to download his homework. But they are in, the, in a classroom or the job. So look at here. Everyone needs help sometimes. So look at this boy. He's reading the glass so He needs his friend to help him to tie his shoelaces. Look at this picture. Friends can depend on each other to have fun. So look at here. These friends are having fun working on a puzzle together. You can depend on your friends to do new things, to have fun, maybe to play together, or to help you with your homework, or to help you to understand a lesson, or maybe to teach you how to read some diagrams. So now let's take the new vocabulary words. The first word here is actions. In the beginning, I need you to open your reading book on page number 20 and page number 21. Okay, page number 20 and 21. We're going to find new vocabulary words. The first word is action. What's the meaning of actions? Actions are something that a person does action or something that a person does. Let's read the sentence here. The girl's actions helped her team win the supper game. So the girl's actions helped her team win the supper game. So what's the meaning of actions? Actions are something that person does. Let's read this word. This word is afraid. Af Phrase. Look at here, we have a long A sound. Don't forget when we have two vowels walking together, the first vowel will talk and it will say its name. So, afraid. Afraid, when you are afraid, you are scared of something. When you are afraid, you scared of something. Let's read the sentence together. Do you like to read it before me? Our and you have the owl sound. Our dog is a free thunder. Do you know what's the meaning of thunder? Um, before the rain or when there is a rainstorm, we can hear the sound of the thunder and we can see the lightning. I think you took thunder and lightning in science. Depend, depend. Depend means when you depend on someone you need or count, on them. Let's read the sentence. Nick depends on his dad to help him learn to ride the bike. I depend on you to study your lessons or to read the story. Uh, here, nervously. When I do something nervously, I do it in a or worried way. So when you do something nervously, you do it in scared or worried way. Maya waited nervously for her swim race to begin. Period. Don't give it period or period. No, it's period. 
feared means if you fear that something, you looked at it closely and you looked, not look it or look, it's looked. If we have ED after the retreat, you are going to read it. Okay. So if you fear that something, you looked at it closely. Look at here. The cat feared throw the hole in the barn. The cat feared throw the hole in the barn. Try to read it by yourself. Perfectly. Here we have a suffix at the end of the word. What's the meaning of suffix? The suffix is a word part or group of letters. We added them to the end of the word and they change the meaning of the word. So perfectly, that's me in a perfect way, like slowly in a slow way. Okay, so we have perfect and we perfectly, perfectly. So when something is perfectly wonderful, it's wonderful in the best possible way. So what's the meaning of perfectly? It means in the best possible way. The orange is perfectly round. Look at here, here we have rescue. Rescue means to save something from danger. So when you rescue something, you save it from danger. Here we watch the boy rescue the cat from the tree. Secret, a secret is something that is not known by many people. So if I want to tell you a secret, I will whisper it to you, I will whisper the secret. You know what's the meaning of whisper? To see it, uh, to see it with a low voice or a quiet voice. Here we have Mandy whispered a secret to me. Mandy whispered a secret to me. Now try to catch the word. Did you catch it? Okay. Action. Listen. Nervously. Perfectly. Secret. Rescue. Now we have a vocabulary strategy. What's the name of vocabulary strategy? So now we're going to take inflictional endings. The inflictional endings are word part. We added them to the end of the word. They show us the time sometimes. So here we have E, D, S, E, S, and I, N, G. These inflictional endings show us the time of the verb. So the E, D means this verb happened in the past. S, C, S, and I, N, G means that's happening now. Do you remember the timeline? Let's draw the timeline. So we are in the middle. Now, and here, we are here, we are. Now you are in grade two. In the past, you were kids, you were babies, you were in KG, you were in big one. In the future, you're going to grow up and you will become men and women. You're going to go to grade three, four, five, six. Okay. So here we have now or present, past. And future. Okay. If something happened in the past, we're going to add ED to the verb. And we have our regular verb, of course. We're going to talk about the future. Okay. What about the present? We're going to add S, E, S, or I, E, G to the word. We're going to add ES if the word end with X, S, S, H, um, C, H, or O. What about the future? We're going to use when or going to talk about the future. 
So inflectional endings are letters added to the end of a word. They are assigned suffixes. To figure out the new words, we at the word part, we at the least word, and the suffixes. The root word or the least word may have the ending S E S P D or I N G. So S E S I N G means it's happening now. E D means it's happening in the past, not for the past. So the worm is singing now. The worm is singing now. Eating the boy is eating pizza now. Talk, jump, walk, push, skip, and miss that or these verbs happen in the past because we have eat. So now get your turn back to book. Let's revise the meaning of the words and let's write them together. We can get to write the book. So let's write them. Let's write them. What's the meaning of action? Action means something that a person does. So action are something person or a person that a person does. What's the meaning of afraid? If you're afraid of something that means you scared of it. So when you are afraid of something that means you are scared of it or something. So here we have the pain when you just pain someone that means you need him or something. him. See, pain, pain, depends on someone when you are found on him or on them. What's the meaning of nervous when you do something nervously? You do it in scared or worried way. When you do something nervously, you do it in a worried or scared way. Here we have peered. What's the meaning of peer to look at something closely? Peer means to look at something, something closely. What's the meaning of perfectly? Perfectly means in the best possible way. Perfectly means in the best possible way. They ask you to save something from danger. They ask you to save something or someone from danger. Okay, here we have secret. Secret means something that is known by many people. So it's something by many people. That's one. Um, I can't make it super. By, not known by many people. So now the boy can on his own help him. He can depend on him. So let's die. Depend. Her she into the dark room. She she took a closer look. That's when she feared. The man helped people from danger. Help he has to people from danger. The flint sang the song together in tune perfectly. Here, the girl was not to try something new. She was not afraid to try something new. 
don't tell anyone their secret because it's a secret. So you shouldn't tell it to anyone. The mouse looks around for the cat. The mouse looks around. I think you're restless for the cat, yes? You're restless around. You're restless for the cat because he was worried about the cat. We watch the subtle clears with passion. Don't forget to write the day and day. So let's take a look at here. Here we have. Will you okay write the meaning of each underlined word search so whether the action is happening now or in the past? Will you help me fix the box squirrel? Ask. Here we have ED, that's meaning it happens in the past. What's the meaning of ask means? Say a question in the past. Or see the question in the past. I'd like to help, but I'm too busy cooking to say cooking soup. Not so too. Okay. We can cook soup. Not so to use the soap to wash our hands. Cooking. So here we have ing that's me. Now, what's the meaning of cooking to make soup? I'm too busy right now washing clothes. Don't be clothes, it's clothes. Okay, the pH are silent. Here washing, we have ing that's me. Now, squirrel explains the problem. Here we have ED at the end of the word, or of the verb. So, that happened in the past. We're going to choose past. What's the meaning of explain to give information or to tell something? Uh, washing means now, explain, told, or gave details in the past. Look, here we have ED. Look means to show something. Here, look, we have ED, that means that happened in the past. Look means so. So something in the past. Thank you for listening and see you later. Bye, my lovely students.